I'm Jerry Seib with the Wall Street Journal, joined today by Michael Froman, newly minted United States Trade Representative. Mike, thanks for joining us, and congratulations. Thanks very much. Um, you've got a busy agenda. Uh, the U.S. is trying to do, on your watch, big free trade agreements with both Europe and Asia. Right. Uh, let's start with Asia, then Europe. Give us your sense of the state of progress and how close we can uh, get to the finish line on those this year. Well, we're, we're very much uh, engaged with our TPP, Trans-Pacific Partnership, uh, partners. We're in the 18th round of negotiations. That's in Asia. Uh, in Asia as we speak. And our goal is to try and get it done this year. Uh, today Japan joins uh, the negotiations. We'll be working with them to get them into the negotiations as quickly as possible and mm -hmm. ensure that we can keep everything on track. Now, the entry of Japan makes the potential final product obviously more meaningful. It also makes the process of getting there more complicated. Um, what's the trade-off there? Well, it'll be, it'll be challenging, and, and TPP itself is, is challenging. It's a complex negotiation, 12 countries now, 29 chapters. Uh, but as you say, having Japan be part of this platform makes it the most significant platform for regional integration in, in the Asia Pacific. You've talked a lot about getting it done this year. How realistic is that? It's ambitious, but it can be done. Um, Europe, not so far down the track. Um, what's, the, what's your sense of the state of play in a free trade agreement with Europe? We've really just started uh, that process. We had our first round of discussions here in Washington a uh, week before last, and that was an opportunity to exchange ideas, exchange views on how to approach all the various uh, issues. And now each team will go back and do further work and we'll re-engage come the fall. So we're really at the beginning. You know, you, would, you might look at the situation, particularly with Europe, given uh, the economic stress the continent's been through, um, and you might say this is a hard time to do a free trade agreement because that kind of economic stress tends to produce protectionist sentiment. Uh, is that what's happening in Europe, and is that going to slow down this process? I think, actually, it's more the opposite, mm -hmm. that given all the challenges that Europe is having returning to a path towards sustainable growth, there's a lot of political will in Europe that sees this trade agreement as one mechanism as part of an overall mm -hmm. pro-growth strategy. So it's concentrated attention there in a way that hasn't existed before.